Hello students, good afternoon. Welcome to the online class of class 10 social studies organized by our Himali English Boarding School. Again, as usual, we are gathered here for the for having some chat on one of the specific topic as usual. Today again we have one topic that is the first chapter of second unit of social studies class train that is development and infrastructure of development and among that today we are going to discuss about sustainable development what sustainable development dear students in our last class i have given you some of the highlight about Brutland Commission about Brutland Commission who, uh, which has given the definition definition about the sustainable development in the better way in the better way dear students as you have studied in your earlier classes that this development is also termed as the long term development and the development for future too. Why? Why this development is also termed as the long term? This definition will better prove. This definition will better give you the information or proof that why sustainable development is also termed as the long term development. So let's go through the definition. Again, I am giving you that this def definition is given by our common future, which is also called Brookland Commission. This definition is adopted, is gathered, is obtained from our common future. This is one of the commission that is called the Brutland Commission. Which commission? Brutland Commission. This de uh, definition uh, talks that developments, it means such positive and progressive change such positive and progressive change that meets the needs of the present it means whatever the progressive change which is being done or which is being adopted at present is fulfilling is adopting or is taking the is fulfilling the needs of the present generation not only that but also it is not harming it is not harming any other resources that the ability of future generation will be collapsed it is not compromising it is such development is not compromising with the what with the ability of future generation it means this development this progressive change is not harming it is not collapsing, collapsing. It is not collapsing the ability of future generation. It means it is also thinking. It is also thinking for the future generation. For the needs of the future generation. I mean to say such development which meets the needs of present generation which fulfills the needs and demands of the present generation and also it never compromises it never compromises what the ability of future generation it has never compromised the ability of future generation I mean to say it has never harmed it has never harmed it has never collapsed it has never damaged the resources which is required for the development that is 
natural resources, human resources, economic resources, and different technological resources, different other other resources. It is not harming any other resources. Due to which future generation has to be wet. It is never, never harming such type of resources due to which future generation has to make themselves wait for the changes. Make themselves wait for the development. I mean to say this development is also thinking. It is never compromising the ability of future generation. For what? To meet their needs. It means it conserves the natural resources. It also conserves other resources that in the coming time, in the future time, future generation will be able, they will be able to maintain their needs, to fulfill their needs, to fulfill their needs. It means such type of development is termed as which type? What development? Sustainable development. They are called the sustainable development. This is the definition of sustainable development according to our common future, which is also called the Brutland Commission. Which is also called what? Which is also called the Brutland Commission. Dear students, why we have to adopt sustainable development? Why? What is the difference between other and this development? What is its objective? So let's discuss about the objective of sustainable development. At first one, it helps to reduce the poverty of any place. It helps in the poverty reduction. It helps in the poverty reduction of any place. It means it helps to elevate, to reduce the number of poor people. Number, number of poor people from that geographical, specific geographical area. Yes. How? By providing, by providing what? Different type of facilities, different type of opportunity, different type of opportunity to make themselves able for what? Economic active. Economically active. This is the development which is making the people economically active. And you better know if you if the population of any place becomes economically active. It means to say, the poverty of that place will be automatically reduced. That will be reduced. So, the first objective, first objective is to, to help in poverty elevation. Its first objective is to, it helps the place to reduce the number of poor people from that place. To reduce the number of poor people, poverty, and it is elevated, it is reduced by giving different types of opportunity to the people of that place for making themselves economically active. In the same way, next. As I have said to you people in the definition, it is never compromising, it is never harming the resources so that the needs and demands of the future generation also can be fulfilled. So its objective is to conserve the environment effectively. It is such type of development which is never harming, never harming what environment? It always focuses where to conserve environment. It focuses on conserving the environment. Because if our environment is healthy, then only we can be healthy. 
This is the concept of not me, not you, not other peoples, but of the sustainable development. But of the what? But of the sustainable development. Sustainable develop development also focuses where on conserve conservation of environment. Where on the conservation of environment. Dear students, in the same way. Next is to use resources and means carefully. Dear students, in our place, we have observed in the sector of utilizing or using, don't say utilizing, because in our place, resources is not utilized. It is extra used. Extra used means people are using different resources haphazardly in our places. You better know if uh, the resources of our place will be used haphazardly. One day the resources, means and resources will be collapsed fully. And for the fulfillment of future needs, will have nothing remained. At that time, at that scenario, it will be very difficult for the people of that place, of the place, for what? In order to maintain their needs and demands. At that time, there will be the shortage of different things to fulfill their what? Needs and demand. So dear students, while using means and resources, we have to be careful. As you have studied in the one of the quotations which says that cut your coat according to your size. What is the length of your size? Cut the cloth according to that size. Don't waste your cloth. Don't waste your coat. Coat. I mean to say, whatever the need is required for the development purpose, use only that much of the means and resources. Done. We, don't, we, have, we never have to 